fine. In this video, I'd like to uh, I'd like to discuss the uh, the distributive property. Now, the uh, distributive property is a property you're going to be using uh, frequently in your studies of algebra, and fortunately, it's a very it's a very easy property to understand. Now, here's the basic format. You're going to have a variable or number times something in parentheses, we'll say x plus 1. And what we want to do is we want to multiply these two terms. Now, of course, we can't add what's in the parentheses because they're, un they're unlike terms. You can't add an x and a 1. But we still have to multiply it by the same. And what you do with the distributive property, it's very simple. All you do is you take the term that's outside of the parentheses and you multiply it by the first term in the parentheses. So a times x is a x. Then you take the term outside of the parentheses and you multiply it by the second term in the parentheses. So this is plus a times 1, which of course is just a. So the answer is going to be a x plus a. Now let's try one more just to make sure you have it down. Let's say we have a, a c times 2x plus 2. Okay, we do the same thing we did up here. We take the c, we multiply it by the 2x. So it's going to be 2xc. Drop down the plus, plus c times 2. It's going to be 2c. Now, since you know the procedure, I want to, I want to really quickly show you why does it work. Let's say we have a very simple multiplication problem. 5 times 3. Now, of course, you know this is equal to 15. But what multiplication is, is very, it's, uh, it's a fast way to do addition. This is a short way to write 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. So multiplication, in essence, is a shorthand for addition. Instead of writing 3 5 times, I can just say 5 times 3. And the uh, distributive property, if I have a 5 times a plus 1, the same principle is, is working here. This is 5 times a plus 1. Just like this is 5 times 3. I can write the 3 5 times right here. I can write this whole term right here 5 times. So it could be a plus 1 plus a plus 1 plus a plus 1 plus a plus 1 plus a plus 1. Just as I write that 3 5 times, I write the a plus 1 five times. Now if you add it up, you have one, two, three, four, five a's plus one, two, three, four, five ones, which is just five. So the answer is going to be five a plus five. But on the distributive property, I could just take this five, multiply it by the a, and get five a plus five times one to get five. And you can see it's much quicker to do the distributive property then write out this term that number of times. So the distributive property gives you a very quick answer. Okay, and that is the distributive property. In my next video, I'll cover the distributive property and how it applies to multiplying two terms in parentheses. Thank you. Have a good day.